And just like that, the problem can affect many different trucks and probably it can happen to you over the road. Engine speed goes high and vehicle doesn't move. Vehicle speed is still the same, which means that the clutch is spinning without any pressure to the pressure plate. It can happen at any time with no warning and especially on these ones, because these are DT12 transmission. The problem happened on a DT12 automatic transmission. This Cascadia 126 is the one that has it, but there is many vehicles with the same transmission or similar transmission to this one. So automatic transmissions are made to control the clutch by computer. So the computer is going to decide when the clutch is going to get applied or when the clutch is not going to get applied. So there is no way a driver or a owner operator is going to destroy the clutch because the computer is the one that is going to decide when the clutch is going to be activated. But doesn't mean that the clutch is not going to wear over time. Once the clutch plate um, gets, gets to the limit, once the pressure plate gets to the limit where it cannot pressurize the plate anymore, the actual clutch plate, um, it's not going to apply any pressure. So the clutch pressure plate is the one that is going to have the other plate over here that is going to connect to the transmission. And this one is going to apply an, enough pressure so you can move. But when this one spins, it's not going to go anywhere. So this is the case of this Cascadia 126. The clutch was completely destroyed, completely burned because of this issue. The clutch wasn't fully applied. The clutch, the clutch was not actually getting any pressure. So that's the reason why the truck was barely able to move. So it doesn't matter what you were trying to do. You press the gas on it and it was just, you know, it's not going anywhere because the clutch was completely destroyed. You can clearly see how this clutch is completely destroyed, completely broken. And uh, there is no, other way to repair this problem by replacing the clutch. And as soon as you check the new clutch, you are going to see how different the clutch looks compared to the old one. The new clutch is going to have more uh, meat on it and is going to, you know, fix this problem. Now, the installation of the clutch is going to vary because, you know, depending on the clutch, the location, depending on how, how many tools you have, it's going to be hard to install it. This clutch is very heavy, so it's going to require different experience or, or you know, um, and some kind of ability to actually do this job. And it's not going to be easy to install these clutches because these clutches are, are very, very heavy and they are not very friendly when it comes to room because they have no room because they're big. But uh, once you get the idea on how to install it, you want to be able to put it back where it was. But uh, this is a problem that is going to affect you over the road. Many people comments on my videos or they go to Instagram and ask me that then why my engine speed goes high and my vehicle doesn't move especially on high gears when you go over the road on a on a hill and you start getting pressure from the hill and the engine start getting some power so you can actually keep the speed then this clutch start spinning you see then the engine rpm goes high and the vehicle doesn't actually get any power at all, that means that the clutch is spinning. If you continue on doing that, over the time the clutch is going to get completely destroyed and the vehicle is going to get completely stopped because you won't be able to move it. In this case, we have automatic transmissions. And automatic transmissions are very hard to move without, I mean, overriding it somehow. I mean, it's very hard to override them, you know. There is no a easy way to actually make an automatic transmission work because they are made to work automatically. There is no a manual override we can do to actually make the transmission work. But uh, they, this is just, you know, the issue then probably you guys are going to have and the demonstration how this issue happened and the way this issue is visualized once you remove it parts and everything you I mean like you can clearly see the clutch thing it was completely burned 
this is the closing is destroyed and you also can see the closing is in a good condition you can clearly see the difference between two and the price of this repair is not cheap because these components are very expensive cost around like five thousand dollars the two pieces together around that price not completely sure because prices prices vary depending where you are so it's possible that i am wrong about the prices you can get them cheaper or more expensive so it will be um something then you are going to find out once once you buy them and if you have the specific number just comment below because you know it's going to be very important but it's important then if you have a specific number for the price of the clutch and the actuator too because the actuator is part of the clutch um you also give the uh, the location where you are uh, buy uh, you, where you, you bought the clutch so that way people know where to buy them cheaper or where not to buy them because they're expensive so um, this is all I have for you, very clear demonstration on how a problem on a DT12 transmission happens and uh, you can clearly see the issue, the way it happens, the consequence of it and the way to repair it. So any questions, you know what to do, go to the comment section below and there you can leave any questions or recommendations or experiences you have about these problems. You wanna contact me lately, go to Instagram, Francisco Mada YouTube, and ask me anything that you can see different content that I'm doing there too. Also, you can use the description of the video where I have details of how to send support to the channel. Continue doing videos like this for all of you that want to learn about these machines. So, as always, like the video, share it, subscribe, and thank you for watching.